With the holiday season coming to a close, your first thought might be to throw out your old Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. But did you know you can recycle your Christmas tree? First Alert meteorologist Anthony Carpino went to Clarks Hill Lake to show you how. With the holiday season coming to a close, it's time to take the decorations down and toss the tree. But instead of throwing it away, how about recycling it and jumpstarting the ecosystem? Like a like a big food chain reaction, pretty much is what I like to cool. call it. Evan Brazier is a conservation biologist at Clarks Hill Lake. He says a Christmas tree at the bottom of the lake actually has several positive impacts. After about two weeks or so, we'll start uh, forming algae, which uh, brings in invertebrate species, little micro invertebrates, mm. insects, and animal species, which attract uh, bigger fish species like sunfish, the brim, crappie, and bass species. But the fish and other wildlife don't like those plastic decorations. Just make sure you remove the tinsel, light bulbs, uh, any decorations away off the tree. In other words, leave the artificial trees and the decorations behind. Evan is expecting close to 800 trees this year, with fishermen and DNR placing those trees throughout the entire lake, helping support its diverse ecosystem. At Clarks Hill, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Anthony Carpino on your side. All right, and take a look at this. So the Army Corps will be accepting trees all the way through January 15th. They can be dropped off below the dam park where Anthony was, the Amity Boat Ramp or Keg Creek Boat Ramp in Georgia. On the South Carolina side, the Dorn and Parkville Boat Ramps will also be accepting trees. And I will be heading to one of those places on the Carolina so side within mm -hmm. this week because we did get a live tree. We always do.